So, now I would like to go a little bit further and show like the second step on the play of the fairy hair. If you're going faster than in the beginning, the beginning I showed like I um, encourage you to make very long turns, very soft long turns. But if you want to go quicker, then it's convenient to stretch the horsehair a little bit, and you can it can do it in the in the in the in the end in the what is it called in the bottom end in here. There's a there's a little rope, and you press it a little, you stretch it a little bit. So then it's more stressed, and you can land a little bit harder on the strings. And be quicker. And if you go like this is the pentatonic scale, so it's quite easy to to move along, so to to improvise on this scale. But anyway, I would like to give a little tip for you how to move in this scale. So if you have this G in the bottom, so the deepest tone is a G, then the most relating tone to it is the fifth, and it is a D in this case. So very often when I start to play, I start to introduce this um, sort of frame, this gate of the fifth. This gives you like an orientation or like a, a base. And the second step would be the fourth. So this, in this case it's the third note. With the bass tone. So if you have this three, already perfect accompanying or like a start bass tone fourth and fifth first note third note fourth note and then you can play around these notes You can take the octave. So you can go even further. See, it's quite simple and I encourage you just to follow your intuition and your playfulness and just go along and make your experiences, your own personal experiences. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>